Hello, in this video I am going to demonstrate how I can use appropriate options to hedge the downside risk of any future trade and also reduce the margin requirement. So suppose I am buying one lot of nifty future. So now I am going to demonstrate this the payoff using the option strategy builder in the Obstra option analytics. This is a this is a software one can subscribe or one can, there is also a free version that I have that I am using here. If you go to the option though there is strategy builder if we click on the strategy builder then this page will open and you can choose the underlying uh, whatever uh, you are uh, wanting to trade so nifty bank nifty so this is a great uh, software using which you can simulate your strategies before you can actually trade them and here we all can get to see all the details of every underlying um, uh, whether we choose nifty bank nifty or any fno uh, any stock in the fno segment their future parameters we can see here so now um, let me add this so uh, if i am just going to buy uh, i am going to make a naked buy of uh, one lot of nifty future expiring this month uh, so that is i am going long so let us look at the payoff diagram this is very straightforward. The, in case, the future is a, actually a contract which gives me the right to, if I am buying, then it gives me the right to buy on 29th April one lot which is 75 at, uh, units uh, uh, at this price, 14,893. So, so, however, we don't have to play the entire amount which comes around for 75, 75 into. 14,893 that is around 11,16,000 uh, right now because this trade if executed will be happen only on the day of the expiry actual transfer of securities if at all done. So right now I need to pay only 1,63,000 as, as a booking amount or a premium for this contract. So now the, there is a, a roughly 50-50 chance because depending upon the market sentiments and so if the nifty moves from the current level of 14,893 and uh, this is the future price this is slightly either at a premium or at a discount from the spot we can see the spot price is the exact price of the nifty is 14,834 and the future is just slightly at a, a premium. So if it moves beyond uh, for the uh, this future moves beyond 14,893 then it will, will be making a profit uh, so whatever is the difference into 75 so if it moves 100 points so that would be 100 into 75 and this would be on an investment of 1,63,000 so that would be roughly around 4.6% I think so let us see 0, 0.65 so yes, it is around 4.6% just for 100 point move in the nifty and 100 point move in a, for a stock which is 14.893 is basically what 0.6% kind of move. So for a 0.6% uh, movement in the underlying uh, index, the uh, pos one lot position would move, appreciate or depreciate by 4.5%. So the risk reward is very high the chance of risk is very high it's a leveraged product so now question is is there anything that we can do so that the downside risk is minimized so that there is no concept of unlimited risk then that would be great because even if on a given day after taking the position because of some unforeseen reason there is a violent move in the nifty in the opposite direction of the trade then the then the down, downside can be the downside can be minimized to a certain amount just like in the case of options so what we will do here is that for every lot of nifty future i would buy an appropriate option one lot of the option expiring well options in nsc there are weekly expiries so i would buy the option expiring 
the immediate next expiry that is on 15 obvious for obvious reasons because when I am buying I have to pay premium I would not like to pay unnecessary high premium because this is a trade that, that uh, this would give me protection until 15 uh, so um, uh, if I so now question is whether I will be buying the call or the put and uh, at what strike so uh, my direct what was the direction of my trade uh, here I am going long so my risk is on the downside so I need protection if the nifty moves below 14893 so when for the nifty depreciates which option would appreciate so obviously it is the put option so i'll go for a put option and which put option i would buy i would buy that is and just at the money so that is 14 900 would be fine right because it is just close to 14 900 only so i will add this to my position i'm buying this so this involves buying a future and buying an option in the opposite direction so when i am buying a future i would be buying a put option so now we see immediately my downside is taken care of risk is minimized to minus 11000 because basically what is the idea then the maximum loss that can be is the option premium so um, th therefore uh, this is a simple but very effective technique which makes the uh, which ensures that even if uh, nifty moves violently against my expectation i would not end up losing um, uh, uh, unlimited amount for one trade now here it is uh, an, uh, another amazing thing is that the option uh, margin uh, uh, the margin requirement it was in for the naked was around 163000 now it is only 26810 that is even if i am having 50000 rupees in my demat account but then by first buying the put option then buying the um, futures i can play this uh, trade and that too with a downside risk and now here the downside risk is showing 41 percent of the premium paid but then that is not how i feel sh we should analyze it because actually what is the value of the underlying trade the value is 75,000 into uh what is the price 14893 that is 11 lakhs uh, 11 lakh 16000 so let's take the reciprocal into 11025 that is what into 100 so that is just like 1% right it was unlimited re uh, loss but it has been reduced to 1% of the actual value of the underlying um, basket of 75 uh, lots of a uh, one lot of 75 quantities of nifty uh, so uh, now even when we take it uh, even when we buy one future in the bill also the broker will charge as the broker although it, the initial premium will be low but it will reflect as 11,100 uh, 11, uh, 16,000 or whatever that will be shown as the, um, uh, the amount due so the, the, so it from unlimited risk it has been reduced to merely one percent of downside risk so this is a, a great way to mitigate the risk so for the other side that is suppose now i am uh, instead of going long i am selling of future one lot of the nifty future so here you see the same is the loss is un uh, unlimited the payoff diagram is just the opposite because now if the nifty appreciates then i will be losing the money because i have gone short or i have sold the nifty, uh, the nifty future so here the margin requirement is 163000 now what i will do i will again buy for one for every one lot of future i would buy one lot of option because option lot size is also 75 and i will buy the nearest expiry and the, i will choose the strike price almost at market so so let us say 14800 so let us just make it at market 14 8 
fifty. So because now now I will go for call. Why? Because I now want protection for the upside move of the Nifty. My trade would be wrong if Nifty appreciates. And what will give me protection? The call option will give me protection for up move because this is the instrument that will appreciate on the for, for up move in the Nifty index. So now what I will do? I will buy. Okay, option in this case I am buying both put and call in both these cases I am buying. So I am mitigating the risk by buying appropriate options. So now you see the downside risk has been reduced to only nearly minus six thousand rupees for one lakh. So it would be a point five percent of the actual value that is eleven thousand uh, sixty eleven lakh sixteen thousand whatever. Is the value of 75 into um, 14893 of that only 0.5% roughly would be the maximum downside risk in case the uh, direction of the tra trade is wrong. So again, and the pro premium amount is also to, uh, reduced to 25,513. So this is a very simple uh, technique of buying appropriate option with a, every lot of future to mitigate the risk and reduce the margin requirement and uh, these case strategies I, I am demonstrating using the Opspra option analytics this is the free version and here is the strategy builder so you can go to the strategy builder and avail this facility now there is a uh, um, uh, in, uh, there is a higher version of this uh, which can be subscribed so there have one has the option of saving all the different strategies that one is trying but even this free, free version is great and many thanks to Opstra Option Analytics for providing this platform for free. So um, here uh, <coughs> what is happening is that uh, only oh, the only thing is that again since I am paying a certain premium amount so that will only uh, increase uh, my break even in either direction so in this case um, if the nifty fell below 14893 i would have profited in this case it has to fall a bit more how much that is 14893 minus 130 then actually sorry 14893 so plus uh, is it plus or oh, sorry? Uh, this will minus, right? So that's place fourteen eight ninety three minus one thirty. So this will be this is what it is. So below below this, I'll be making profit. Now, uh, so this is a only minimum price that I'm paying that my break even is slightly shifting than the naked option buying or selling uh, sorry uh, uh, future buying or selling um, but then uh, the unlimited loss is taken care of and the profit is remains unbounded so this is a very effective way of trading in futures and options and future i will um, also demonstrate how the um, option buying can be hedged appropriately option buying or selling can be hedged appropriately now that is uh, uh, slightly complicated because a future does not if we look at the grids we all know that this future does not have anything other than the delta so there is no theta time value or vega so uh, volatility effect of which measures the effect of volatility so these grids are not there for the future but when we t t talk about buying or uh, options we have to think about the time premium and the uh, uh, volatility premium the vega so how we can make trades theta neutral and vega neutral those are things that i will uh, discuss in subsequent lectures so uh, i hope this is useful thank you